Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Haraldus and this is my Flipper Zero Wi-Fi DevBoard unboxing and review. This DevBoard is based on an ESP32 chip, which is an SOC board uh, that is commonly used for IoT purposes. You could buy one of these for about seven pounds on Amazon, which is way cheaper than about 30 that the Flipper Zero Wi-Fi DevBoard costs. And you pretty much get the same thing, except that the Flipper Zero Wi-Fi DevBoard is made specifically for the Flipper Zero, meaning that it's easier to connect to the Flipper and most uh, of the official apps work straight out of the box for it. One mistake that I made when inserting the board into the Flipper was that I left a gap and this shouldn't be there. It didn't cause any issues, I'm just letting you know in case you get one yourself. After the unboxing, I had to flash the board to actually be able to use it. I did this manually by following a YouTube video, as I found this to be the quickest way to actually get started. So, what can you actually do with it? There are three things that I've tried with it. Number one, Wi-Fi Rickrolling. In the Flipper Zero Wi-Fi Marauder app, there is an attack called Rickroll. You're probably familiar with the classic Rickrolling, when someone opens up a link to this. However, this Wi-Fi recrawl attack just spawns multiple Wi-Fi endpoints with the song's lyrics. So it's completely useless, but it can be a bit of fun. Next, I tried a D-off attack, and this was actually the reason why I bought this dev board in the first place. But this ended up not working, as apparently only the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi networks are vulnerable to this type of attack. So this is completely useless on most modern Wi-Fi networks. And lastly, I tried the evil portal attack and this was by far my favorite not only because i can see it working in the real world but because it's customizable and you can create your own evil portal with basic web dev skills so to make this attack work give a name to your fake wi-fi network in this case it's free wi-fi then load an html evil portal template i chose apple one and then start the portal then wait for the web server up message to make sure that it is actually working so now from the victim's perspective, they will see a Wi-Fi network that is unprotected and is called free Wi-Fi. Once they join it, they will be taken to this evil portal and anything that they type into it will be sent to the Flipper Zero. So overall, the Flipper Zero Wi-Fi DevBot is interesting, but there's not much practical stuff that you can do with it unless you are a developer. The actual board is a bit overpriced, however the main point of this board is that it is a dev board so that you can write your own apps that use it. If you want to use it to do some serious Wi-Fi hacking, I wouldn't recommend it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I really appreciate everyone that is watching my videos. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next one.